Hello and welcome to Local TV News. I'm here at the local sports centre in Bedford where I'm trying to find out the secret to the perfect pair of football boots. Now coming up I'll be speaking to ex-Arsenal football player Perry Groves but right now I'm just about to speak to Mr Alan Spurgeon. Hi Alan, now why don't you tell me a little bit about your company footyboots.com. Well, footyboots.com is a website which could be compared to something like the top gear for football boots. Okay. Um, what we do is we pick up information and give out information re with regards to the latest football boots that are on the market. Oh, fabulous. That's very, very good. And tell me, um, what's the difference between my trainers and a pair of football boots today? Because I know there's been a lot of talk in the press about injuries in the, in the foot area. So can you tell me a bit about that? Well, the main thing is that a football boot compared to a, a trainer mm -hmm. will have studs on the bottom for a start which gives you traction when you're playing football. Um, there are several different types of studs that you can have. For example, you could have moulded studs, screwing studs or bladed studs. Mm -hmm. What these do is these allow you to get traction whilst you're playing football. They also give you more protection, the boot itself, made of leather traditionally. All right. Um, and they're obviously made for the conditions that you play in office, sometimes wet, sometimes dry, different boots for different circumstances. Okay, and there's, there's, I believe now at the moment there's spikes on the bottom of the football boots. What, has that changed anything about the boots or are they any more dangerous with the spikes? There's a blade. Okay. The, the blades are quite a new, um, a new thing for football boots mm -hmm. uh, within the last few years. And there has been talk that the blades could be um, one of the reasons why there are more metatarsal injuries in the game of football. Ah, oh, and what's a metatarsal injury out there for those of us who don't know? A metatarsal injury is actually um, a break to one of the bones which connects your toe to the foot. Ah, oh, okay. Um, commonly associated with David Beckham who broke a metatarsal, Wayne Rooney oh, broke okay. a metatarsal, quite a few high profile players now. All the big guys. And finally, um, what, what would be your best bit? What do you think the best bit would be for people who are interested in buying one at the moment? It does very much depend on what they, uh, what conditions they're playing in. Okay. Personally, my preference is a traditional black boot. Okay. I also look very much for the leather. <laughs> um, my personal favourite is a boot called a Nomis football boot. Okay. Well, thanks very much, Alan, and best of luck with your company. Thank you. Okay, joining me is Perry Groves, ex-Arsenal football player. Welcome, Perry. Thanks. Have you enjoyed your game that you've been having today? Yes, yeah, it's, it's fun. Obviously, Alan's asked me to come along and test some new boots out. I haven't bought a pair of new boots for probably like 20 years, so I'm quite interested to see what they're like now. Okay, and um, what were football boots like when you started your career then, They Perry? were just basically black and white. There was none of these flashy sort of gold and reds and silvers and whites because if you wore a pair of boots like that, you had to be good to make sure that people knew that you had a lot of talent. Okay. Um, so I, I'm, I'm a big lover of the old black and white boot. Brilliant. And um, tell me, have you ever had any like foot injuries that may have been prevented? Would you have had maybe better technology of a boot like nowadays? Um, I think we had more protection on the boots when I had, obviously, you go back to like the 40s, 50s, they were like the lace up around the ankles and mm. probably harder leather than the kangaroo skin came in when I was playing. Oh, okay. um, but these days you get a lot of metatarsal injuries and I think it's because they haven't got enough protection on their, on their boots. All right, okay. And finally, have you got a lucky pair of boots, maybe boots that you've scored a lot of goals in or boots that are really special to you? There was one pair of Lotto boots that I had when I was sponsored by Lotto and they were done up along the outside and I just seemed, it's, I think it's a psychological thing, you just seem, you feel more confident in them and score a few goals so they become your lucky boots. But then when you get dropped they become your unlucky boots so then you're oh, thrown away naturally well thanks very much for your time perry no problem thank you very much now that was all we have time for here on local news tv now me and perry are about to go for a little bit of a run around on football you're going to do the keep up so you do my world record yeah yeah exactly that's what Double i'm going to do, do for me. we'll have some penalty shootouts i've been sinead van kampen for local news tv